What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel, this is Pinoy Tech Dad. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Halo GT1 Plus. You're going to be saying, what, another GT1? We already have the Halo GT2, right? This is actually the Halo GT1 Plus, and this is the Halo GT1 Pro. But there's a twist. I actually have the Halo GT1 inside of this case. The earbuds of the Halo GT1 Plus and the charging case of the Halo GT1 Pro put together is the best combination of the Halo GT1. Here's a quick unboxing of the Halo GT1 Plus before we proceed with this review. Let's take a look at the merits of the GT1 Plus. It has Aptex, which is the biggest difference from the Halo GT1 non-pro version and the Halo GT1 Pro. It uses Qualcomm QC3020 chipset. You'll have lower latency on this compared to the previous ones, which is the Halo GT1 Pro and the Halo GT1 non-pro version. And it's gonna get confusing, but just focus on the Aptex because the Aptex is what's gonna tell you that this is the Halo GT1 Plus. Again, as I mentioned, the Halo GT1 Plus is already inside the case of my Halo GT1 Pro. So they fit perfectly because they're basically the same form factor, the same size. I actually have a clip here where I measured the weight and they actually weigh the same even though this has a different chipset. Sound quality wise, I could not perceive any difference between the two, which means this will sound good. And another thing that they claim with the GT1 Plus is that it has five hours of single use. So if you take out the earbuds, you can use this for five hours straight. You know, the five hours is just an approximation. It's just an estimate and it all depends on how high your volume is. The GT1 Pro's case is definitely way bigger at 800 milliamp hours, while the GT1 Plus has a three. 110 milliamp hour battery charging case. It still uses micro USB like the previous Halo GT ones. I don't think it's that hard to change this to USB-C, but they refuse to do that. I don't have the normal Halo GT one, but I think this is the same case as that because this doesn't have LED indicators on its battery. As for the GT one Pro, it has battery indicators on its case right here. So this tells you how much battery is left on your charging case. As for its waterproofing, well, it's still the same IPX5 waterproof, which means you can use this in the gym without any issues. As for its operation, its controls, it's all the same. It's touch control, unlike the Halo GT2, which uses buttons. Anyway, here's a quick sample video where I tested if there was any latency and there was no perceivable lag that I could hear with the Halo GT1 Plus. This was not a scientific test. I wasn't able to test this on PUBG, unfortunately, so I'm really sorry. But if you guys will inquire about PUBG, let me know in the comment section. I'll test it and I'll reply to your comment. As for videos and movies and all that, there was no perceivable latency. And that's the magic of Aptex. Why should you consider the Halo GT1 Plus instead of the Halo GT1 Pro? For those of you who have experienced how much troublesome it is to pair the Halo GT1 Pro or the Halo GT1 because of pairing issues where one pair or one side doesn't connect so that means you're using it in a mono setup. You know how much troublesome it is to reset the Halo GT1. You know, it's a tedious process. That issue is no longer present on the Halo GT1 Plus. And again, I'm sorry, I'm still pointing at the Halo GT1 Pro case, but trust me, this is the Halo GT1 Plus inside of this. Okay, so let me demonstrate it to you guys. So you can see the Bluetooth is turned on. We'll just take out the right side and you can see there, it's already connected and you can actually see that it connected as the Halo GT1 Plus R and battery is 100% and look at that tiny detail right there. It says Aptex. 
So normally with the Halo GT1, once you've done this, you already need to reset your Halo GT1 or GT1 Pro just so you can pair the two together. But with the Halo GT1 Plus, check this out. So again, this is the right pair. So we're taking out the left earbud and let's see if it connects. Wait, it's, it should be right here. All right, so it's already connected here. I mean, why was I looking at the bottom? So it's right here and let's test it and see if music comes out from both earbuds. Let's open Spotify and play some music. Maximum volume. Yep, I've just listened to it. I can't let you guys listen to the music because it's gonna get copyrighted. You heard that, you saw that. No more problems with the connection, with the pairing because these connect individually. You don't have a master and slave kind of connection with this. So it works just like the Sabat X12 Ultra, which is a really welcome addition. And this is why you should get the Halo GT1 Plus over the Halo GT1 Pro or the Halo GT1. So if only they could ship it with a battery case of the Halo GT1 Pro, this would be the perfect budget TWS. But as it is, this is one of the best, one of the best budget TWS out there. If you don't have the budget for the Sabat X12 Ultra, this is a great alternative. This is a perfect Aptex enabled device. This is probably the cheapest TWS out there with Aptex. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comment section. So yeah, I would highly recommend the Halo GT1 Plus. I can't recommend it enough. This is a great product. Was able to get this for 1,150 pesos, which is around what? Hey Google. 1,150 Philippine pesos to US dollars. 1,150 Philippine pesos equals 22 United States dollars and 72 cents. So it's roughly around $22 according to Google. If you want to get the Halo GT1 Plus, I'll put links in the description box as usual. Anyway, lots of TWS coming in. We still have the review of the U Green coming up. I'm almost done testing this. This has a different sound profile than the Halo GT1. So it's going to be different. It's going to be a different take on this. I also have the Sabat E12 Ultra if you're interested in watching my review of that. Stay tuned to my channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today, guys. Have a great day.